you want to like kind of kick up the speed factor a little bit and yeah, yeah speed you know working more efficiently How's sure that? Like just sure. working at well, yeah and that's, that's what I mean. when i say speed you're 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 closing the claim faster by doing each individual part of the claims pro taking less time to do each piece of the claims process right i think photos are a big hang up for a lot of people especially newer adjusters where you may or may not know exactly which photos to take or how many to take. How many do you really need on a typical, like a hailstorm, a hail claim, for example? Um, what do you, how many pictures do you think you're taking like per claim on that storm you're on? Um, sure. I would say the average is probably about 80 to 90. Okay. For just one building, say, say but if they don't, have, if they have a shop, you know, you kind of up that to. Okay. Or a detached garage, which I've ran into a few of those. You know, it's, go it's going up quite a bit to like maybe 140, 150. Gotcha. So, and that's like roof gutters and downspouts, fascia, siding, window wrap screens kind of thing? Yep. Yep, exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, windows too. And, you know, part of me wonders like if I take too many photos yeah. and I'm stuck labeling all these photos when maybe I didn't need that many, but out of the abundance of caution, I, I have been. Sure. Um, well, you know, this... This is uh, this is probably one of those eighty twenty things, right? Like where twenty percent of what you do is going to give you eighty percent of like the benefits. I think that it's it's a big a, a big good place to move the needle on your efficiency, and that is to take the right number of photos. Eighty to ninety sure. or one hundred and forty photos um, on a hail claim is a lot, right? It's, so and we can go through this in detail, but I would say that. For me, maybe 40 to 60 okay. total. And the way okay. I'm going to get there, and that's with taking, you know, two over, at least two overview shots of all four elevations and, you know, two overview shots of all four slopes. If you've got four slopes, right, if it's a hip. Um, sure. Adding all those photos together. I think what, where, where a lot of people end up with extra photos is they take duplicate photos of things, right? So in other words, if you have something that, Truly, insurance companies, they just don't care about is gutters and downspouts, right? And I, as a file reviewer or, or doing cleanup or write, doing supplements on other people's work, I'm looking through at their photos and they have like 25 photos of gutters and downspouts. Let's get um, four, right? Two, right? You know, you see one downspout, you've seen them all, right? So just get a picture of that nice, pretty dent on that downspout and that. And then a couple of dings, you know, you get the light just right on the, the bottom of the trough or the, the gutters, and that totals right. the, the gutters and downspouts for me. I'm not taking more photos than that for that, right? You know, you could see you've got like four windows on the right right hand side of the house, and they've got window wraps and screens, metal screens, right? And that side got hit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take. You're gonna get. You're gonna see those those pick those windows in my overview shot, and then when I go up, I'm gonna take one close up. Maybe two of the window wrap just showing like maybe the, the upright sides of it and like the, the sill. And then I'm going to get a picture of one screen and I'm done taking pictures on that side of the house. So if that's all the damage, right? Yeah. That, I mean, that's, see, I, and I'm, I'm probably adding a photo there. Yeah. Um, probably let's, I would say I would take an over, this is my process right now is, is that I'll take an overview of the elevation. And then let's, I had plenty of window wraps on this, on this claim. I'll take an overview of the photo of the window. And then a close up of the window wrap yeah. where it's damaged. Yeah. And then, but say that same window screen is damaged. I'm, I'm taking another photo, adding a window screen. Um, if I can just get both the of... window wrap and the screen in one shot, and I can see both the damage on both, because that's all that, that's all they, all you're doing with the photos is just documenting the damage, right? So right. it's not, a, it's not really a matter of like, you're not getting, I don't know if they still do this, but it's, it used to be that in some companies would, you could bill for each photo that you took, right? You don't have, we don't, I never got to do that. I don't know if you ever did that, Julian, but you're not getting paid by the number of photos that you take. So as long as you, as long as a file reviewer who, let's, I'll just kind of like flip things around for you to help you understand, to give you like more of like a kind of a bird's eye view of sure. the number of photos to take. As a, as a file reviewer, I'm going to, I'm pulling up your photos, I'm pulling up your estimate, right? And maybe your GLR and your, your diary or whatever, right? And I'm going to go sure. through your estimate. I'm going to make sure you got your right price list in there and yada, yada. And I'm going to look and see what you paid for, right? You're paying for the roof. 
Um, you're paying for all, all the slopes. The whole thing's totaled, right? You're paying for the gutters and downspouts. You're paying for the fascia on the right side. You're paying for this. You're paying for that. All I'm going to do with your photos is just double check that what you're paying for, you have a picture of. Okay. It's not like I'm going to like, I'm not going to rescope your, your claim from your photos, right? Unless you have a photo in there of something that's damaged that we should pay for it and you didn't pay for it, right? That, that, that may be right. the other case. But basically what the, the file reviewer is going to do is just use your photos as a reference to back up what you wrote for. And then to double check, you know, if, if you mentioned in your diary that you, ha you inspected two, shed two garden sheds and a detached garage, well, I got to have pictures of those in the file. And if there's damage to, you know, you got to scope those just like you do a regular house, right? Right. If, if those are in the estimate, right? So I'm going to cross-reference those three things, right? I don't, it, once I see, like you see, gutters and downspouts, and I see a, a couple pictures of things, and yep, that's hail damage to those, I'm moving on, right? So I'm not, I'm not looking, even if you have like, you know, a picture, if you can get like a picture of a window wrap and the things in the screen and you can still you can see like the holes in the siding and it's super blatant mm -hmm. and you can see holes and it's like the siding shredded from the overview shot do you really need to add another capital extra maybe like your pro siding profile with your tape measure right that's probably about the only other thing i'm going to take a picture of so okay. tell the story paint the picture right um using your photos to help back up what you're doing and i think that should make it a little hey. bit easier because they don't need extra more than one photo or more than a couple of photos of like most things, right? As long as you can, sh right. you know, maybe with the exception of like the roof, right? So you've got your overview shots of the whole slope, then overview shot of your test square, and then maybe two or three shots of damage and then, sh and then damage, oh, and then the close-ups of accessories, roof fence and things like that, right? You know, right. And there looks like somebody sat on, right? I, I don't, right. if they've got, 21 roof fence. I'm not giving them 21 pictures of roof fence. I'm just going to give them one. Right. <laughs> okay. That was all well and good. But what if you haven't even gotten started yet? You're not quite sure like what an adjuster license is or even which one or ones to get. You don't know what gear and tools to buy. Do you even need a drone? In short, you want to know how to get started as a claims adjuster. How can you start adjusting claims? for money, right? We put together a comprehensive seven video series explaining in detail, step-by-step, step, the complete beginner's guide to getting started as an independent property adjuster. This is where you wanna start. And the best part, it's completely free and you can get started watching it right now at adjustertv.com slash start. In the meantime, YouTube has picked out a special video just for you. See you in the next one.